My son Christopher loved engineering, loved to know how things worked. My son Patrick, a little more whimsical, his goal would be to be a professional gambler and to drive a Ferrari. Javier is curious, he's funny, he's, he's a great kid, he's such a sweetie. My sons were diagnosed in 1984. The doctor said to me, you have two boys with Duchenne muscular dystrophy. He said, by the time they're eight, they won't walk. By the time they're 14, they won't be able to feed themselves and they'll be dead before they turn 20. When you're faced with a physician who says, there's nothing to do, we don't know enough, you feel powerless. My son, Patrick, was 15 when he died, and my son, Christopher, died at the age of 17. Duchenne muscular dystrophy is a devastating genetic disease. Almost every patient is a young kid, and many don't survive beyond 25 years of age. It is a genetic disorder that essentially robs people of their muscles. It's progressive and ultimately fatal. And today, there is no cure. When Javier was diagnosed, we were heartbroken. But at that time, he still was developing completely normally. So it was really hard to wrap your head around what was coming. By age eight, he was in the wheelchair full time, and he's 10 now and slowly losing upper body strength. Steroids are currently the only treatment option, and they're associated with a host of negative side effects. Many kids, Javier included, can't even take them. There are currently so few, if any, treatment options that have a meaningful impact. Pfizer is taking a lead to change that perspective. Pfizer has an incredible infrastructure and support network to build complicated therapies. Right now we're in phase two with our anti-myostatin antibody. What we're hoping in Duchenne is this antibody will not only increase the muscle mass, but will also decrease fatty infiltration and fibrosis in the muscle tissue. How many cost are you looking oh, at? More than a hundred. Hopefully it will work, so finger cross. One of the things that you quickly realize in working in rare disease is that the only true experts in these diseases are the patients themselves. And the only way, I believe, that we can really fight and find treatments for these diseases is by partnerships. I started Parent Project Muscular Dystrophy to drive an agenda that would lead to therapies to change the progression of Duchenne. Pfizer can collaborate with these organizations and people like Pat Furlong of Parent Project to really better understand what the patient is going through. It is through these interactions that we can better understand how to fight these diseases. Pfizer has the opportunity to affect millions of people. It's very encouraging and we're incredibly grateful for the work that's being done to turn our family's dreams into a reality. There are tens of thousands of stories here of people who are committed to make a change for the world. We believe that we have the people to really make a difference. 